Cuts and Crafts by Bruce Layden. We made this, this lumber rack last night. It took us around two hours, I guess. Holds all the extra lumber that was piled up over there. We couldn't even get to that wall. We got some scrap plywood on top and a whole bunch of plywood that was up over there. I had to get it off the ground. It's uh, in a real heavy rain. Uh, uh, water comes in that corner and it was getting the plywood wet. <coughs> so, uh, we had to get it up off the ground. Uh, that one side holds all the all the lumber, uh, 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 dimensional lumber. And then in the middle, we got some scraps. I may put a middle shelf on it. We put a shelf on the bottom. And it, it's got some uh, 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 plywood and some wide, uh, wide boards. But we built that last night. It, it's kind of hard to roll with those casters on it. Uh, guess I should have got some better caster. I got these off Amazon. Uh, there's Toto. Say hi, Toto. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, you're a good dog. And, uh, uh, yeah. Made that last night in a couple hours, and it works really good. It it holds a lot of plywood. I got I don't know how many sheets on there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fourteen sheets on there, and it it probably hold three or four more. Easy. Okay, this is. Just another one of the projects we worked on this weekend. Okay. Cut some crash, Bruce Lighton signing off.